Liverpool v everybody. It's been a while, a uh, little hiatus, much needed, some self-care, self-health, you know. Uh, but yeah, I'm feeling good, man. The weather broke, but then went back to cold, so that's why you see me with a hat and hoodie and warm clothes on. But um, you know why I'm here. I'm here to talk about Liverpool and City. And before I get into anything about the game, players and all that, I just want to say, I can't remember the last time I was this proud about the Liverpool team not getting three points. Um, well, not proud about that fact, but just proud about the performance. Um, we all know what it is. People talked about us making excuses about having so many dudes out of our team. Usually that's just banter. You don't even feed into that because if any other team, be it the lowest team in the table or the team's top that are closer to the top, if they had as many dudes, which I can't even be bothered to go through the whole list, if they had as many dudes, off their squad. I love to see where they are right now. Um, and though we didn't get the, the all three points, they just made me proud, man. Like, Endo. I mean, look how far he's come in a season from where some of us thought he was at. Sort of struggling. Can he? Can he? Can he? Can he play with the in, in the Premier League speed? Well, if yesterday wasn't a test against one of the best teams, arguably in the world. I don't know what else is. Um, and he's just one of many. Just so proud of the fight, the physical battle that we took to City, man. I mean, even in that first half, you can say City were the better team. Um, I, my opinion is that, you know, I think it was pretty even. Um, I like to talk about the fact that, you know, possession stats don't mean a lot, but you also got to look at the optics, man. You got to really, when you're playing them against City and you have more possession, that means something because you're stopping them from doing what they want to do. And Liverpool did that. Again, with dudes who, this is second and third, fourth string dudes, man. People were worried, I won't say any names, but people were worried because we didn't have Kanate. But we did have Kwanzaa, you know? We got dudes who are just hungry, and I always talk about this, it's next man up. You know, this is the best thing that can happen for players who don't usually start. To have a, to have a situation where they get called upon and they come up and produce. That's what it's about. If you're good enough, you're old enough. You know, and I'm just, I can't, I couldn't be more proud. You know, yeah, it, it's it, it's unfortunate that, and it's frustrating that we didn't finish our chances because when you think about all the shots, look at the stats and look at the shots for both teams and shots on target, we definitely should have put that game away. That could have easily been a 5-1 uh, result for Liverpool. Um, and yeah, it hurts to concede the goal the way we do. Well, we always seem to concede these sort of fine margin, silly mistakes that sometimes goals to City. And it's frustrating, but, you know, I think Kelleher should do better there. But I'm picking up Kelleher as, as well, because along with all the other players, he showed up yesterday. He played really good. He had that one mistake and it was a costly one. But, and that's my opinion. I think that he could have done better on that. But it is what it is. Uh, I, we totally dominated City. Um, I haven't seen a team nullify them the way we did yesterday in a long time. I mean, I forgot De Bruyne and Holland were even on the pitch. You know, you had guys like Bernardo Silva, who I've always said, I, if he, look, he's a player you love to hate, but you want him on your team. I would love, I would have loved him at, at Liverpool on the club. But you got a guy like him who's resulting to, you know, trying to be physical and tough. But that's the thing, guys like McAllister and Endo, um, even Harvey Elliott. Let me not forget about my man Harvey. Just bringing the pain. Nobody was scared. Nobody was jumping out of challenges. Everybody was physical and ready to fight. So, I don't know, man. It's just, I've never felt this way after a result from Liverpool, man. I just see that these guys really, really want it, man. And look, you can look at it as a missed opportunity to see what happens with City and Arsenal when they play, but I'm proud of our guys, man. And it, it's just another moment that reassures me that this is something that we can obtain. I'm more than confident in doing that. So. Big up to all the players, man. Again, everybody was really, really amazing. Um, surely some guys stood out more than others, but today was a collective thing. And I'm just proud of the boys um, for showing that fight, that physical toughness, nullifying City from doing anything they wanted to do. The possession stats say it all, man. Um, and we know what happened at the end of the game. You know, Mane, I know this was years ago, but Mane had that same similar challenge that Doku did on our player. I forget who it was he put foot to chest to. I think it was McAllister. And we know what happened with that. So. You know, again, it's unfortunate when situations like that don't go your way. You put so much into a game. But again, that's why I said, you got to finish your chances so you don't have refs that can be a part of the story, a part of the narrative. So again, 
uh, good point gain. I'm gonna say that and looking forward to the next one. Much love to everybody. Stay, he stay healthy, stay safe. See you next time.